Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Upton here, bringing you some tips and tricks, lines of sight, jumps and spots, speed on capture spots, and search plant locations for the new Uprising DLC for the Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And instead of making all the different maps as separate videos, I'm just combining them all into one long video. So I hope you enjoy. I'm putting a lot of effort into this, and I really do enjoy some of the maps so far, at least. Some two or three more than uh, the last one, but I hope you enjoy the video. And stay tuned for everything. I got some stuff that you might not have seen. So we're going to start off with, uh, what is this, magma? And uh, just, there's not really a whole bunch of cool stuff, but there's a couple things like that general spot. You know, that's not too exciting or anything. But here's something that I wish that they did do. That Treyarch, you should have done this. You should have had this. Had a tree you can jump up onto this little plat platter there. That way people could do their 10-year-old quick scope stuff on that. And then, you know, go for their montages and stuff. That would have been kind of cool. And by the way, what is this spot for? I noticed this. is like... There's an invisible ledge that I'm standing on. What does this accomplish? You, you know they had to have tried to make that little ledge on there. I don't know. Don't really care. Next thing on the map is if you get in this little subway thing, you can actually see people heading towards BDOM. I thought that was kind of interesting. I decided to show you guys. So you can defend it if you have like a sniper rifle or a long-range assault rifle or a LMG or whatever. You can't really see too much from this window. And these aren't really, you know, advantageous spots. But, like, in certain scenarios, I'm sure you could use these to your advantage. Maybe that little knowledge can help you in one way or the other. And, uh, by the way, I want to point this out. Lava is hot. You don't even have to touch the lava. You just have to touch the magma around it. So don't touch lava. Not very uh, healthy for you. And throughout all these maps, ADOM and CDOM, the flags are, like, pr they're out in the open. Long story short, so there's not really cool spots in which you can uh, secure the flags from. There's not really too much you can do with them. So no super secret capture spots on those, but I will show you some for BDOM on some of the other maps. Now something about BDOM is say someone's down here in BDOM and they're somehow owning people. You can actually drop down here behind them on this ledge down here and you can shoot them in the back. So there's a little strategy for you here. And also there's a little ledge that you can climb up right here if... Uh, you charge your boost right there. There we go. You can climb up here, and then, you know, that's a little flank route you have. Another thing I see very often, people come up to this window right here, and they decide, oh, I'm just going to camp here all day. Look at me. I can get a three-kill streak. Yay. I'm so cool. And they just hold down this flat, this little area, and they're sitting there with attack insertion or whatever, and they just keep shooting people from there, and it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to show you my counter to that spot. Now, what a lot of people, they do, they, they just get on this green box here, but they don't really have too much cover. You can still see, like, a third of their body, so I wouldn't recommend sitting behind this box. What I'd recommend is jumping on top of the bike in front of the bus and then using the bus as a head glitch. There you go. Perfect counter for that location. So that's pretty much all I got for this. Well, actually, I do have one more spot that's uh, for uh, it's a search and destroy plant location, and it's for both the A bomb and B bomb targets. In case we're just going to switch over to search and destroy here. And now we're on Search and Destroy, so we're going to head on over to B-Dom first, because this one isn't quite as special. A-Dom has an awesome spot, in my opinion. So I'm just going to set up here where you should be. And this is where you should plant it. You should plant it as far away on this corner of the bomb as possible. And then plant it. I'm not actually going to plant it right now, because I still want to show you the A spot. And then you'll be able to see right where the bomb plants. You're going to be able to stand behind this little head glitch right there, and you're going to be just fine. You're going to secure that location perfectly. Now, ADOM, on the other hand, ADOM has an awesome, awesome plant spot, and I think that Treyarch did this on purpose. This is a huge, huge line of sight that we have here. Now, what could be so special? It's in this, like, little corner area here. Where, where could we go that would be so awesome? Well, just plant the bomb on any part of this side of the bomb anywhere on this side you'll be able to see it from anywhere and then run down way down this hallway and if you have like a sniper or an assault rifle for long range or an lmg look at that you can stand far away from the bomb and never have to worry about people you know stumbling across you it's you're just way out of sight out of mind and you'll be able to defend that bomb no problem. Because what a lot of people do, they'll just be like, I'm going to sit in this corner, or maybe this corner, or maybe over here, or maybe that corner there. And it, everyone's going to be checking those corners. No one's going to be checking for the guy way down there. So it's a good plant spot. I think you should all use that to your advantage. And that's all I have for Magma. We're going to head on over to the next map. Let's have a party at the concert. What is this, Encore? 
Yeah, first thing I want to say about uh, Encore is that, well, the stage isn't as awesome as uh, Treyarch said in their little trailer. There's really nothing special about this place. You can't really do much. There's hardly any cover except this little blue tarp thing, but it's not even bulletproof. It's it's like standing in front of plywood. You're not going to get much cover out of that. Sure, you can sit in this corner here, maybe this corner over here, but you're not really doing very much. You can't see the BDOM flag. You can't really defend very much, so I wouldn't recommend it. But I do have some BDOM capture spots. If you're spawning uh, A side over there, then you can actually stand behind this crate here and you can secure BDOM. Thank you, Treyarch, for making it tour. We don't have to sit in the middle of the map and get naded to death. Thank you very much. But if you're spawning seaside, there's two spots that you can go to. You can either sit behind this blue tarp here, which isn't perfectly bulletproof. Like, you can shoot through some of it and it's bulletproof in some places and not in others. And then you can also sit behind this little crate. And I don't want to capture the flag. Don't want to raise the score up or nothing. And also there's this little uh, pathway on the left that you just saw me go through and you see me go through it again. That is a very good spot. A lot of people are sitting on these head glitches and whatnot, and they don't even they didn't even think about these little uh, that little flank right there. So you can easily get behind the enemy team and just shoot them right in the back, and it's no problem at all. Another thing, this map has like no lines of sight that you can abuse. Like there's no little cubicle thing that you can look through that gives you an awesome line of sight. This is about the only thing, and it's absolutely useless. So there's. This shows to show that there's pretty much no lines of sight in this map. But there is a search and destroy plant spot that I want to show you. And this isn't too awful special. Most people could probably figure this out on their own. But I just want everyone to know as quickly as possible. So what you're going to do, you're going to plant the bomb on this side. Now it doesn't really matter how far out you plant it. Because you're not going very far. Okay, you're just going to be going right out here. You're going to sit behind this thing. Well, first you should probably put a Claymore Bouncing Betty on either down there or by the stairs. And then you're going to sit behind this little planter, this little concrete thing. And you're just going to head glitch that bomb for days. And anyone who comes around that corner, you'll be able to see them. And this is how much they'll be able to see you. They're not going to be able to see very much. And that's, like, imagine half that beam of light. That's, they're not getting a very big target. But if they're, if you want a counter to it, you can just get on this little bar thing here. And you have a little bit of cover. Stand a chance against it in case uh, the enemy team is using it against you. So that's all I got for Encore. We're going to go up a little higher now. Now we're playing Vertigo. And first thing that I got to say is that there is a little bit of a cheat spot to get a little bit ahead in the game. And if you uh, jump off the map here at the uh, Adom spawn, you'll spawn like 10 seconds of running ahead. And so you might want to use that to your own advantage. You might not. Depending on, you know, class setup, if you don't want to run lightweight marathon or lightweight uh, extreme conditioning, whatever. So, that's just a personal preference that I like to use. Another thing, this is very cool. I haven't seen anyone use this yet. Climb up on this, and boom! You're up on this little thing, and you have this entire side locked down. You're good. You can also sit here, and you can look at A-Dom, and you can protect A-Domination. You can nade it and whatnot. So, that's a little helpful here, and... Uh, we're just going to skip forward here in the video. A little bit of a dead spot. Now there's this side of the map here where there's this room. And there's a lot of corners in it. And I don't like it. It's a dangerous room to go through. And there is a way to bypass the room. You can actually go along this left side. I'm sure everyone's figured this out by now. But there is a little bit of a ledge you can walk on. Another thing that is awesome about this map. Is that if you shoot out that glass right there. You can actually jump down onto where BDOM is. And I have not missed this ledge yet. It's super easy. You just got to remember a couple things. Oh, and by the way, you can also go back up. So that's a good thing. You do not want to sprint jump because you'll just sprint and you'll land on the ledge above it. And you don't want to jump and then press A to climb over because you'll end up climbing on the ledge. So you want to make sure that you don't climb on the ledge. You want to just move forward and jump once. And then you'll land here every time. And then you'll be able to drop on any unsuspecting targets at the B-bomb target. And so, another thing. See this glass up here? There's glass above B-dom. So you can drop nades and stuns and whatever else on to anyone who's sitting at the B-flag. Maybe you can use your kill streaks and whatnot. Let's see if I can get this first try. And... And not quite. I threw it into the back of the room. But you get the idea. You don't necessarily have to shoot from that... Throw grenades from that spot that I threw them, but... 
you can uh, use this to your advantage. Maybe you have, uh, I don't know, like a, what is it called, lightning strikes or uh, the Hellstorm missile, and you can just shoot it down there at anyone, and you can actually hit people who are inside the building. So definitely use these uh, glass panels above you to your advantage. There's so many ways to get to B-Dom. B-Dom is going to be quite dangerous to get in this uh, map and game type. So that's all I got. So I'm going to be a little nostalgic here and go back to firing range, although it's now called Studio. And it's really cool. I really love what they've done with the place. They remodeled. They got like some, uh, who's that lady? Uh, not Betty Crocker, but you get the idea. We're going to start off with all the spots that I loved to use back when I played this in Black Ops 1. Okay, let's talk about this uh, mid-building right here first. Now, my favorite way to get up here is to climb up on these hay bills, climb up here, and shoot anyone who's in this back area, because there's always someone sitting in that corner back there. And a lot, a lot of people do is they sit in this corner, or they're uh, sitting back there in that corner. So you really got to be careful about the ways you come up in here. You don't, you pretty much don't want to take the stairs, because there's too many ways. Take the hay bill. <laughs> Another thing that people do is they sit in the corner, and then they'll look at these stairs here. Yeah. You're, you really just don't want to take the stairs. Stairs are not an advantageous position to get up there in. But if you're, uh, let's say you're spawning on in this area down here, that hangar area, you can actually jump up on these boxes, jump up on this thing, uh, break the window first, and then you can climb up here. So that's another way to get up. Another way to get up the same way is to jump onto this little platform. Maybe there's people already camping up in there. You can shoot them while you're looking at them and then jump right up in. So there's so many ways to get into the same building. It's awesome. So definitely use those to your advantage. And then let's talk about this: these pieces of wood by B-Dom. You can uh, sit and head glitch all this stuff and watch that area. You can actually capture B-Dom from this spot right here. But you can also sit behind, I don't know, this box. You can sit behind this box. Well, not a box, but this cover right there. Another thing you can do is you can use these targets to your advantage. You, if uh, people are coming from A-Dom, and you can sit behind this and look at the uh, doorway there and take them out as they come in. And you know what this... Oh, one more thing here, here is if you jump up on uh, these boxes here and then you can get up to the top of this little castle here and then it's, it's just, you know, a whole bunch of the different ways to get up into these same buildings. And obviously there's this top tower where you had the ladder. Everyone knows about this already, so I'm not even going to bother. So yeah, there's no secret ways to get up it, so... I don't even bother trying to find one. We've all been looking for years and years. Ooh, it feels good to be back at the firing range. This is definitely my favorite map in uh, Black Ops 1. And, oh, one more thing I uh, forgot. Whenever I was recording, I forgot about this one spot that most of you probably know. But in case you don't, you can actually come up in this building back here, break the window, and climb up. That's the last bit of uh, it that I got for you. And also the uh, domination grenade spots that T. Martin uses. You can... Uh, Throw a grenade from A to B or from uh, B to A. This uh, is definitely useful if you're just trying to go for the quick kills and everything. Look at how close I got that. Second try. Awesome. Can't wait to play more of this game. Can't wait to see uh, all the different things that people find on the other maps that I couldn't find because I know I missed something in all those other maps. So definitely stay tuned for some gameplay from me playing all these other maps. And I, I keep saying I can't wait. And that I'm just making this video, and I'm going to get right back onto the game, and I'm just going to start pub stomping as best as I can. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a rating if you did. Comment, subscribe, all that kind of crap. Epic Thunder rolling out.